Hey, this is Mr. Willis, and I'm going to show you how to use the Explore panel in Google Slides to add some nice content to your slide. You can see I'm doing a slide here about Chuck Yeager, and I need to add some things. First thing I would like to add is a picture, which I'll put over on the right side here. And so to find my Explore panel, it's very easy. I'm just going to look down in the bottom here, and the Explore panel is this little symbol. If you really want to get crazy, you could also go to the Tools, and Explore is underneath Tools, but I usually like just going right down here. That opens up the Explore panel. It's just a little thing on the right side of your screen, and you can search for whatever you want to find. In this case, I'm just going to type in Chuck Yeager, because he's the one I'm searching for. And because I want to find a picture of him, I'll go to Images. Pretty straightforward. Uh, lots of cool images of this guy, and I think I'll pick one of him in his uniform here. And to add this picture, there's a couple ways. You could use the plus sign. What I really like to do is just grab it, drag it, and then let go. Couple reasons. One, that leaves the rest of my search open here. It doesn't close it out. Also, when I move the picture over here, let me kind of move it back up to the top here, it brings with the picture uh, a nice little thing at the bottom here when we click on it. After I'm gonna have to shrink it down a little bit so we can see the bottom of the picture. By the way, remember, little blue squares let you shrink it. But you can see at the bottom of my picture, it has this link attached to it. So I know where the picture came from. And anytime you are adding materials, if you are going to do it responsibly, you should know where it came from. Okay, and so that's a good thing that we've got that picture right there. Um, there's other videos where you can see about how to resize and crop this picture to get it fit. That's probably a good enough fit for right now for what I'm doing. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of information here and uh, I think maybe I'll add like uh, a good thing to do with a biography is add when the person was born or when they died. And so to do that, I'm going to go back to the web results. This is where I can find some information. And you'll see with a lot of times when we talk, type a person's name in, you will get some basic information up here. Uh, an important thing to remember though is that the source, whenever you get this little section in the top, it's probably Wikipedia. You can actually see right there. It says that this stuff comes from Wikipedia. Uh, which is always a source you want to just double check. There's a lot of great information on Wikipedia, but anyone can add to it, so be careful. So what I'm going to do is just look below here and see, oh, this is Chuck Yeager, the official website. This might be a good uh, source. So I'm going to click on it to check it out. An important thing to note, look up here in the top, I now have two tabs, okay? My slideshow is still here, it didn't close out, but my website is over here to look at some stuff. So I'm going to look through here and see, all right, adventures and growing up is maybe a good place to start with things about his early life. And this does kind of confirm it there. It says, yeah, Charles L. Wood Yeager was born February 13th, 1923 in West Virginia. And so, um, and it says also here that it remains to this day. And so it looks like from everything that I can tell, also looking at this thing up here, uh, we don't have a death date for this guy. And so he's still alive. So I, what I'm going to do is just for his age, I'm going to say 1923 and use the dash and then say present since this guy is still alive. If he had died, I would put uh, the year of his death right there, which means this guy is, you know, 95 years old. Whew, he's getting up there. All right, now one other thing I want to do while I'm here is I want to have a couple more details because you notice this had some nice other details that he was born on this specific day in West Virginia and I want to use that information. So what I'm going to do is copy it. So I'm going to highlight this section here um, and maybe even do, you know what, I'll just do this first sentence. You could do more if you need to. And after I highlight it, I'm going to right click on it and choose copy and then I'll go back to my slideshow and that kind of stuff is not something you want to put up here on the slide because then your slide just has way too much writing. I'm going to put it down here in this section called speaker notes. See this at the bottom. So I'm going to click down there, right click and paste. And so it kind of puts my notes down there. If I want I can even kind of drag this up a little bit if I want to see a little bit more of the speaker notes. Uh, another important thing to do is after I paste that in there, I'm going to get my cursor at the very end, push my enter key so I've got an empty space there, and then I'm going to go back here 
and make sure that I put my source in there. So I found that I found that quote right here on this page. So I'm going to click on it, right click, copy, go back to my slideshow, right click and paste. And that makes sure that I know where my information was found, something you always want to do. So there's a couple things you can do as far as adding stuff directly on your slides using the Explore panel.